My one friend liked to run in and out of the garage while the door was closing, and he didn't realize how close it was to him. Close on him. Did it close on his head? Dude, that shit was fun though. I always used to pull that shit, like, as a kid. Like, you, like, trigger the garage door and, uh, uh, get out, get out, 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 out. Like, or in Australia, we just do that. It's like, oh, leaving the house, just go out the garage and shut the garage door <laughs> instead of <laughs> going out the front door. Indiana Jones mode. Man, I did so many dumb things as a kid. Oh my god, I'm the, I actually did so many dumb things as a kid. I just remembered one thing I did that was really dumb as a kid. This is the dumbest shit you could ever do. But I was a kid, so I didn't know any better. When I was a kid, a young kumo on the internet. When you were a kid, I didn't like sex gross. Ooh, sex. I was interested in sex, but adults? Yuck. I didn't want to see adults having sex when I was like 12. I essentially just searched up child porn or like child sex. Oh my god. Now that I think back on it, I'm like, what an idiot. What was I doing? Or like kids kissing. Dude, it's so fucking dumb. It was the dumbest shit. Like, I'm on a list. I feel like I'm on a list. I didn't want to see adults having sex. That's kind of gross. Like, at least that's how I was like, that's disgusting. So I'd search, yeah, kid sex, and it was really bad. Mind you, I was a kid, but they don't know that. Like, they probably could have told with the other Google searches, because I would have been like, habbo.com, club penguin. They're like, oh, this guy's a kid. Or he's a really advanced pedo. There's no in between. I always liked the idea. I was super in love with the idea of, like, kissing, but sex, yeah. My parents were very open about, um their sexual experiences and their life. Too, too open, way too open. This is a really, oh, this is gonna be a really fucking shit fight by the way, so I may as well have the story while I'll spend 20 minutes here. My mom would tell me some of the grossest shit. So my mom being like, like any parent that like goes through a divorce, you gotta get back out there, you gotta get on the market. So she'd go on the market and she would, she'd have all these boyfriends or like dates and stuff. Being like a single mom and she didn't really have many friends, she only really had her kids, so she'd just tell us all the things, all the things people tell their friends, like when you're a young adult, she would tell us as kids. So she told us one time, we, she had this awesome boyfriend. I thought he was awesome anyway, because I was a kid. He owned a few like EB game stores, and I was like, sick games! Yeah, he's a gamer! And he gave us like the, uh, the American version of Left 4 Dead 2, because in Australia, the blood all got censored out. So when the bodies died, there was no blood. So this guy was awesome. But then my mum told me, oh, it's really gross. Just pre-warning, this is really gross. She's like, yeah, she's like, but he doesn't wash his dick. And when I have to suck his dick, it's just covered in like dick cheese and like smegma. Yuck, like what the fuck? And I was 12, I was like 11 or 12. My mum's like, yeah, it's really gross when we, like I give him a blowjob. But I was like 12 and I didn't have that shit. I'd wash my dick, let alone this full grown adult. Ugh, the thought of that, that shit smells bad. And my mum would still do it. She said she still did it, but I was like, you feral. You kinda gross. <laughs> For real, that's not that's not that's kinda bad. I actually have so many like boy stories of like my mum's boyfriends and dates. Some of them are just like really fucked up. Is sad stories too much? Like what would upset you guys? If this one is like this one would like make a lot of people like be like, oh wow, that's really sad. <laughs> It was like her first date, actually. I think it was her first date. She went to like a seafood restaurant with this dude. I can't remember the dude's name. And this guy's a psycho. She was just getting like, kind of like mad drunk because one, just heartbroken, just hitting the streets. And he starts telling her about like how, like a fucked up story of his, but it, it was like really fucked up. He was saying about how he used to own these fish, these fish that he loved. And then what happened was the neighbor's cat had come and eaten them. And I was like, oh, that's sad. That's really sad. And then, <laughs> no, it's, it's not funny, I shouldn't be laughing. And then what he did is he killed their cat. Like he said he, gra he got the cat and he, he, he stole the neighbor's cat and then he put a pillow over its head and just bang and just fucking killed it. And I was like, who the one? Why are you telling me? I'm like 11. I don't want to know this fucking story, mum. And two, what kind of psycho goes on a first date and tells them that? You killed someone's cat. It's like, that's fucked up. It's sad that his fish died, but you don't, it's an animal. The cat didn't like make a premeditated attack on your fucking like pets. It wasn't planning it, it just fucking did it. Most of the stories do escalate, but there's no easy way to like escalate them. You just gotta like do it. And then my mum proceeded to just get like trash drunk. She was like, oh fuck this. Like, 
and then just vomited all over the seafood restaurant. It was pure class. Although I don't blame her for that one, dude. That's fucked. I would not be on it be in that situation. She said apart from that though, the guy was really nice. And he like she was trash drunk vomiting everywhere. He like brought her home, showered her, like put her in bed, didn't try anything, he just left. Mind you, we were in the house, so that's fun. It's so sad though. The neighbor was like searching for the cat, like kept putting up like missing cat signs and stuff like that. It's really sad. Sorry if I scarred you with these stories as you came in. <laughs> Repressed memories. Yeah. They're just lingering around up there until I like think of something that me makes me remember. My mum needed to see a therapist, but they were just she was just so anti like. Instead of seeing a therapist, my mum opted to see like psychics. I fucking hate psychics. Just people that prey on the vulnerable. Oh, just kind of disgusting. And every single time you talk about a psychic, you have someone pipe up and be like, Dad, I saw this one psychic though, and they were really legit. There's always someone that's like, they were super legit. Even though there was a show, literally proven, and they were like, hey, like, psychic or people that claim to have any telekinetic supernatural ability, come on the show, and we'll test it out. Like, that, and you're just like, allowed no preparation. They'd come on and they'd just fucking fail. So you get more money if you win. If you prove you are psychic, you get the money. No one did it. They would try and do it and then they'd always say that they needed like a different, there was like something wrong. They'd come on, they're like, oh, the feng shui's off. In a way, like, in a way, it's kind of nice because like there's so many crazy stories like that I have. And in another way, it's not that nice. You kind of need those crazy stories in order to like have good views on life. Oh, actually, boys, rate my thumbnail game. Was that a good thumbnail on YouTube? I uh, uploaded a YouTube video last night. I was, I'm pretty proud of that thumbnail. I think that's a pretty good thumbnail. Like, that's not bad. I actually, I fuck with that. that video was like, I was like really happy with that video, actually. Um, I had Calvin edit. Calvin's my roommate. And he's the one who ate the fish with me. Well, he, he, he drank the fish. He fucking slurped that shit like it's chucky milk. He went so hard. <laughs> I was like, you don't have to go this hard. Like, <laughs> you can chill. Like, bruh. <laughs> He's like, till I die, bitch. And then, yeah, he edited that video. And that video was, um, that video was really good. Dude, Calvin gave, dude, Calvin bought seven league steps for an exalt. And then he fucking put an enchant on them. So now their default level is 42. <laughs> it's so... <laughs> Dude, I messaged him because I was like, can I use your seven league steps to level? And he's like, yeah, sure. Because he's just an idiot is why, x -Ross. He's just, is he dumb? Yes, yeah. You saw him. Kelvin's the one that drank the fish. He doesn't think. He just does. Because he, he probably did his first lab as he leveled with them. He probably did his fucking normal lab and he's like, oh, I can do my boots. I'll do my boots. <laughs> oh, yes. I didn't check my DPS beforehand, but... The whole build's not gonna work. <laughs> oh, no! No! Dude, I thought I could still use sweep because it's a two-handed axe. I didn't realize the count as dual wielding was gonna... <sighs> Make it count as dual wielding. Fuck my life. Cyclone! Has ever heard of this cool skill called Cyclone? <laughs> it was like, it wasn't my fault. I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> oh my god. That hurts. Yeah, that's... I sat there for like six hours. And I was like... Well, not six hours. Like a few hours. And I was like... I was like, dude, yeah, the sweep skill is going to be sick. I'm going to... Woo, 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 my way through. It's going to be really unique. I was like, what's a cool AoE skill that's melee... That's not Cyclone. I was like, it has to be sweet. That's pretty sick.